Marvanatha Patu, the former Sri Lanka captain, was formally appointed head coach of the Sri Lanka team on Wednesday following a three-month tenure as interim coach. The decision to appoint Athapattu was, apparently, unanimous. He was chosen ahead of John Lewis, the other candidate shortlisted by Sri Lanka cricket after considering Sri Lanka's success in England and against Pakistan at home under Athapattu's tenure. I suppose uh, Sri Lanka's recent success winning in England and uh, then the success against uh, Pakistan at home would have would have helped uh, Marwan Adipattu's cause a bit but also I wonder if uh, the experience the Sri Lankan board had with Paul Fabris uh, sort of put them off a little bit as far as foreign coaches are concerned and, well, they, they've had foreign coaches for a long time just just this one bad experience might not have been enough reason but it could have could have uh, swayed some opinions out there but more interestingly after many years of the four main subcontinental cricket teams having having foreign coaches right now you have Waka Yunus, Chandrika Athurusenge and Marwan Atabattu and even in the Indian setup of course Duncan Fletcher is the, is the head coach but Ravi Shastri uh, is, is there and there are the assistant coaches B. Arun and Sajay Bangar so it's, it's rather interesting that all, after, after all these exper- experiments with foreign coaches all these teams are looking homewards uh, uh, for people to helm their uh, teams. The news of Atapattu's appointment came even as Sanat Jayasuriya resigned from the coach appointment committee following differences with other members. Jayasuriya resigned via an email saying he was unable to function because of factions in the committee that felt he wanted to appoint a non-Sri Lankan coach. Jayasuriya does remain the chief selector though.